Um, what I'm doing now, I'm just getting my casting rhythm down. It's taking a little bit because there's all kinds of snags. Feeling out what's on the bottom, feeling out the fish, but I am definitely... There we go. Whoa! That's a good fish. That's a good fish. What is that? Whoa, it's a blackfish. It's a keeper too. Awesome. And whoa, beautiful, beautiful fish. So I'm kind of fishing from shore here. Just got in this blackfish mode and we're going with it. Yeah, he's a keeper. 17. But oh, we're looking for a big one. Just beautiful, beautiful. We don't get any more. We did what we had to do. But he, he's a keeper. Let's get him. You want them to bite you. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. To get him into the water so i'm going to swing myself around and he's going to swim off all right uh i don't know what's going on i just had my first bite i'm kind of just casting there's some good structure down there Let, oh yeah they're down i think i had another bite just kind of waiting for it to get into a still spot. I'm going to cut some more crabs. Just kind of started to my right, moved to my left. And uh, we'll see. That bait sit as still as possible. A little vibration down the line with my hand. Waiting for the bite. A little tougher fishing from shore. I think I have a bite. Here we go. Oh, that's a sea bass. No, it's a baby, baby, baby blackfish. That's a good sign. Tiny little blackfish, big old hook. What's throwing those fish in? On my crab legs. I actually like the small green crabs the best. Maybe we'll get a bigger one. I changed my line last night. It's getting low. I like the monofilament because I can tie right up it. And this is 30 pound Andy monofilament line. It's just perfect for blackfish. It's really tough, really stiff. Your, your bait holds out strong. Um, it's really abrasive resistant. So you can pull out of a lot of, not all snags, but you can pull it out of most snags. But we're doing all right here with the snags. I got caught once, just waiting. I'm over rocks, I can feel them. I can feel everything with the mono. I can feel everything with my rod tip. Uh, you were casting 100 yards, so I'd maybe go for the break. Just have a nice hit. They're down there. Wow, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Okay, we got our limit today. Be careful around these rocks. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Right after I put those, wow. See how they dig in towards those rocks? Wow, beautiful, beautiful fish. I can't believe, I used to fish for them a lot and I can tell you a story the last time, well not the last time. He's just about 16. The last time. Oh, slow down. I went fishing for them. Hardcore. Oh, was as hardcore as it gets. Watch out for their teeth. That's not what got me, but if you see me in person, just ask. So, wow, that's just way cool. Same here. Cut the hand. Cut the legs off. In the water. Tough 
top piece too you can throw in the water or you can keep it on you keep it on you can make like a, a wake around your bait and when I hook them I go through the bottom leg socket Ooh. just like that a lot of hook a lot of guts Those things give you one heck of a fight. Got one now. I'll show you the hooks on these. I'll the break them a little stack when they get. Oh, it's a little guy. A lot of little guys, you'll feel them pecking away. I said uh, the key, the big thing with these is getting those legs in the water, getting those fish in front of you, and oh, they're a tough fish. Let me get him there. Slow down there, buddy. Okay, he's making this difficult now. There he goes. Is he gone? Oh boy, he really made this difficult for me. There he is. Back out. I don't want to get bit. There he is. Yeah, he swam off. fishing like huckleberry fish huckleberry fin style fishing for blackfish today it's kind of cutting crabs peeling the bottom out snags fish crabs i don't think it gets better than this well maybe a three foot long blackfish would be so, yeah. Boy, kicking it now Big ones, basically. I know that. This is just fun fishing through these guys. Wow, that's a good one. That is a big one. Wow. That's a big fish. He's a keeper. Wow, he's digging right in the rocks in front. Whoa! My gosh. We're looking for a giant one. But that's a good one. Wow. Boy, really. They really give you a great fight. That's a nice tog. Nice blackfish. It's about 18. Thick too. Wow. That's a juicy fish right there. That's a juicy fish. Don't let him bite you. We got some serious chocolates. I think you can keep two. But on this bite, I want to get the big mama. Wow. So we're just togging today, fishing for blackfish from the shore. Under the bridge, green crabs. See how you went in those rocks? They'll sit there. And I'll tell you what right now, Fluke will do the same exact thing. Giving you a hint. Hands are like leather, so I really don't mind the claws. Um, I've dealt with crayfish, crabs. I got bit by big crabs too. So I'm gonna cut those legs off and get them in the water. All right. Wow, he's bigger than I thought. Fish. That's a good fish. That's a nice one. Let's see if he's a keeper. He's close. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's in there. 
17. It's just about just about 16. We're gonna let him go. He definitely had our limit. This light cast. It's tight slowing off too, which is great. That's what we want. Don't want that fast, fast water. If it is, I'm looking at the current brakes. I think when it slacks off, we'll have our fish. That's a decent fish. He took right in front of me. It's coming in now. So we definitely have our limit. Uh, oh wow, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, he got some weeds on him. I did go over. I'm using a 3 0 hook now. So we get that big one. I don't want to lose it. This is the rig I'm using. It's a three way rig. That's a 2 0, same hooks I was using. I got 3 0s too. Um, I got stuck. I started with a 3 0, which might be the best. Three way rig, almost the same. But I don't know if you guys noticed from the last time I'm fishing, keeping my hook drop a little higher. A little higher up off the bottom that's going to help us get through some snags i could even keep it up just a little more higher it's just a three-way rig three ounce sinker i could go four i might 20 gamakatsu bait hole and using crab I just go through that bottom bottom joint this where your point is sticking out and you're good to go that top shell you see there, that top shell, you really want that to come off right next to your bait in the water. Gonna make a little, little chum slick. That's got to be a little guy. Way little guy. these guys I don't mind but they're eating it water's nice and still now so it's gonna be easier that's why I wanted to cast easier to fish that structure see if we get a bigger fish see it's really sitting down there nice very slow drift but there is a drift oh I think I got a little one now but uh getting a lot a lot a lot of little bite little Oh wow, he's a little bigger than I thought. Wow, he's bigger than I thought. But a lot of a lot of small fish around now on this time and it, it kind of swung around. So I'm expecting something a little a little different. Really nice healthy black fish, tog, tor tog, tau tog. And uh, green crabs. Really, ooh. Good boy, get him back. But uh, really nice out in a couple more crabs, but I am going to be get going in a little bit. And uh, really great day out there. And this here, these are 3 0 Gamakatsu hooks. I'm also using two. I started to use the three and I'm holding them just as well. So I figured I'd go with the bigger hook. If a bigger hit fish takes, and just playing with the little guys. Wow, that's a bigger fish. He just slammed that. Keep myself up first. Oh wow, he's a keeper. Man, I love the way they fight. Yeah, he might be a little short. That's all right. I think we got at least two keepers today. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, he's about 12, 13.
seashore. A bunch of seaweed. He's a good one. The tide's ripping too. It's been tough fishing. Oh, he's a good one. He is a keeper. Wow. We're going to finish off with a beauty. Whoa. Oh, I knew it. it a bunch of seaweed. But he's a keeper. I'm pretty sure. That's a nice fish. Wow, he's definitely a keeper. You can see the, the tide's ripping. That's a nice, that's the biggest one of the day. Get a measure on him. Let's see. It's eight, 16, yeah, he's over 18 inches, that's for sure. Broad fish too. Solid. That's a keeper black fish right there. Let me get on his way. He's in the rocks here. So I'm gonna be getting going. Come on, buddy. We want to let you go. Don't fight me, I'm gonna let you go. That's about everything I need for black fishing. Um, all in this little, little cooler. Crabs, of course. My hooks, knife, use scissors to cut the crabs, pliers if I need them, and a sack of sinkers, and uh, keep a rag. And that's it. I love that stuff.